Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a lipstick testing to see how they wear on mature lips. Is it going to creep up into my little lip wrinkles? Is it going to settle into my regular old lip creases that lips just get through the course of a lifetime? The nine that I chose for today are a mix of high-end and drugstore. I actually did a little poll over on Instagram and the number one lipstick that everyone wanted to see was the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. The second uh, most requested lipstick was the Tom Ford lipstick, which I've already reviewed. So I've actually done a couple of these lipstick testing reviews in the past. If you're looking for any of these lipsticks that I'm going to list right here, you can find them in my other two videos, and I'll put the links to those two videos in the information box below the video. So let's talk first about the one you guys were most interested in, and that was the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution lipstick, specifically in the color Pillow Talk. You guys were all over this Pillow Talk color. So this this retails for $34 and it comes in 20 shades. This is supposed to be a luminous modern matte with 3D glowing pigments that are going to make your lips appear to be wider and fuller. This has a lovely vanilla scent and it's a nice creamy lipstick but it's a little on the drier side. It's not quite as buttery creamy as some of the other ones feel. It's not totally opaque and it's not totally matte either. It definitely has a little bit of shimmer to it but it is a nice looking lipstick that didn't settle into any of my lip creases on my actual lips and over the entire day of wearing it didn't creep up into my lip wrinkles. I can't say that it made my lips appear wider or fuller but it actually had decent wear. It left Lasted through lunch, a snack, and a couple of drinks. That was about five hours with just a little bit of fading. It was completely worn off after dinner though, so it didn't make it through the second meal. This felt drying to me within the first couple of hours, and then it proceeded to get worse throughout the day, so that by the end of the day, my lips were actually cracked and peeling. Let's move on from Charlotte Tilbury. Next up is Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Sculpting Lipstick. This one retails for $35. It comes in 51 shades. This is supposed to be an intense lip shaping color. I got it in the color 260 Eccentric. I was so psyched about this one. Couldn't wait because I love Estee Lauder products and I thought this is going to be the one. I guess I think that about all of them. I don't I? <laughs> I thought that about the Charlotte Tilbury. Meh. It is a really nice creamy formula that it feels nice when applying it and is easy to apply, but it leaves a slightly sticky finish. It is not totally opaque and it does go on a little bit patchy and it does settle right into those vertical lip creases on the bottom lip. It does have a nice soft shine, but I gotta say, I didn't really see any sculpting going on. This just looked like my lips with a different color on them. Now, as far as the wrinkles, right up into the lip wrinkle within the first hour or so. So very disappointed in that. It was about half worn off after I ate lunch and had a couple of drinks. It did transfer a lot onto cups and onto my teeth. It did leave a stain on my lips that did last for about six hours, but it didn't look good for six hours. It felt really, really drying starting at about two hours in. And by the end of the day, my lips felt like the desert. They looked dry. They looked wrinkled. Also at the 35 dollar price point is the Christian Dior Rouge Dior lipstick. It comes in 55 shades and two finishes. It is supposed to be a cult formula and 16 hour comfortable wear. The shade I got it in is number 361 Rose Baser. This is another creamy but a little bit sticky feeling lipstick that applies easily because it is nice and creamy but it does skip over and cling to dry skin and so it really looked not great. This one did gather in the vertical lip creases right away. On the wrinkles, it starts to settle in the wrinkles above your lips within a couple of hours and did gather in those creases. The Dior lipstick had the shortest wear time of all the lipsticks. It didn't even last through one meal and it did wear off kind of patchy and unevenly and didn't look good while it was wearing off. I'd say it started feeling drying at around the four hour mark and then got worse uh, from then on. All right, next up is Clinique Pop Lip Color Plus Primer. This one is $18.50 and it comes in 16 different shades. This is supposed to be a bold, saturated color with smoothing primer and a velvet finish. Uh, the color I got this in is number 14 Plum Pop. This one has a buttery, smooth feeling that glides on over the lips really easily and feels great when it's first applied. It has a soft shine with a little bit of shimmer. Uh, it's not opaque and it did go on slightly streaky 
And again, it does clump up in those lower lip creases right from the beginning. It did during the day transfer up into my lip wrinkle above my lip. This one actually wore pretty well throughout the day, lasting for about eight hours through two meals, a snack and two drinks. So that was great. And it didn't feel that drying. Next up is from MAC. This is MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick. This is $21 and it comes in 24 shades. This is a gel formula that's supposed to be eight hours of comfortable wear. And I picked it up in the shade Eros. It is a stiffer, more gel-like texture than some of the other lipsticks you hear. Because the bullet is a flat shape, it really is not that easy to apply. The coverage on this is completely opaque. The color is intense and it has a more of a reflective shine, I thought, than a satin finish. As far as the wrinkles go, it gathered into some of the wrinkles in my lower lip. It tended to bunch up at the corners of my mouth. One day that I wore it, it went up into my lip line. Another day that I wore it, it didn't go up into my lip lines. It lasted for a good 10 to 12 hours. It didn't feel like creamy on the lips the whole time, but it definitely left a stain behind so that the color was still very apparent. It lasted through two meals, two snacks, four drinks. True to Max claims, it was very comfortable to wear. Urban Decay Vice Lipstick is next. This is one of my favorites. I wear it all the time. So this is $17. This comes in a hundred shades and six different finishes. An unbelievable colored lipstick in one swipe that hugs the lips and is ultra comfortable to wear. I picked it up in the shade Raven's Wood. This one is creamy and because of the bullet shape it's really easy to apply, really comfortable, not sticky. It has almost opaque coverage with one swipe and it has a very low luster shine. It looked great from the start and didn't gather into any of my lower lip creases or into my upper lip wrinkle. It was only slightly faded after I had had lunch Lunch and a couple of snacks and a couple of drinks but it was gone after dinner that was at about the six hour mark it was very comfortable to wear um, but my lips did look a little bit dry and flaky by the end of the night and in case you thought I forgot about the drugstore lipsticks of course they're in here this time I went with Revlon super lustrous lipstick this is eight dollars and 49 cents and it comes in 82 shades so wow it's supposed to give you shiny radiant color in a moisturizing formula with superior comfort I picked it up in the shade 423 Pink Velvet. This has the standard bullet shape that makes it very easy to apply. It feels great on the lips. This is a really creamy, nice feeling lipstick. It doesn't drag, it glides across. The color is not totally opaque when applied, but it's pretty close and it has a really nice low luster shine. It did gather into those uh, vertical lip creases, but it didn't transfer into the upper lip wrinkles at all during the day. This was a very, very long wearing lipstick. It lasted through two meals, a snack, four drinks, and there was still a stain of color left on my lips after nine and a half hours. It was comfortable to wear for about the first six hours, then it started feeling a little bit dry, but overall it wasn't super drying and my lips didn't look crusty by the end of the day. I also consider this next lipstick to be a drugstore lipstick because of the price point. This is by Sephora. It's the Sephora Collection Rouge Cream Lipstick. It's $12.50 and it comes in 39 different shades. This is a hydrating lipstick that creates full lip with intense color. The shade I got it in is called Mmm. So this one is another one that is supposed to create a fuller lip look and I felt like this was the one that actually delivered that look. It is a slightly stiffer texture. It's not quite as creamy as some of the other lipsticks I'm showing here today and it does drag a little bit when you're applying but I feel like the thickness and stiffness of the texture is what makes it really opaque and it has a soft satin almost matte finish. It doesn't feel sticky. It does not creep into your upper lip wrinkles. It lasted well for about four hours through a meal, a snack, and a drink and it felt creamy. After dinner, which was at about the six hour mark, uh, there was still a slight stain of color left on my lips. It started feeling slightly drying at about the five hour mark, but overall I would say it was mainly comfortable to wear. And last but not least is the new Hourglass Girl Lip Stilo. This is $32 and it comes in 20 shades. Modern color with luxurious hydration and a lustrous finish. I picked it up in the shade Activist. This is the lipstick I'm wearing today. This crayon shaped tip makes it really easy to apply. It makes it really easy to, to define the edges of your lips and make your lipstick go exactly where you want it. It is really 
creamy formula. It glides over the lips. It just feels so good. The coverage is very smooth and very opaque, but it does have kind of a lustrous, almost wet looking shine. It didn't settle into any wrinkles at all, all day. It lasted well for about six hours through lunch, a snack, and two drinks, but it was gone after dinner. That was about the eight hour mark. This is super comfortable to wear for the first six hours. It still does feel really moisturizing during that time. By the end of the day, my lips did feel and look dry, but they weren't cracked or peeling. I usually go from worst to best. I didn't do that today because I started with the Charlotte Tilbury. So let me just break it down this way. The lipstick that looked the best from the beginning, this is gonna be for people who don't mind reapplying a few times during the day. Uh, the best looking ones were the Hourglass, the Charlotte Tilbury, and the, where is it? and the Sephora lipstick. This one definitely was much more opaque, much more smoothing than a lot of the other lipsticks. I gotta say this one as well was fairly smoothing while I didn't see any like widening or plumping of my lips. It did look very nice when first applied. And this one, I really like the look of when it's first applied as well. It is a little bit shinier where these two are a little bit more matte. So those are three great options if you don't mind reapplying throughout the day. If you're looking for something that is super comfortable and will not dry out your lips, then I would definitely give the MAC, the Revlon, or the Hourglass a try. I felt like these three were definitely the most comfortable to wear throughout the day. And just dropping the Hourglass, these two were also two of the longest wearing ones that I tried today. I think it definitely would help it to have a lip liner. Using a lip liner will always make your lipstick wear better, look better, not creep into your lip wrinkles. So, um, but I know that some people don't want to invest in that, don't have the money, don't uh, have the time. Uh, or the inclination to do it. They just wanna put on a lipstick and know that it's gonna look good and stay where they put it. So that's my take on this set of traditional lipsticks for mature women. Uh, I am working on right now a liquid lipstick testing video and a matte lipstick testing video. So stay tuned for those. And if you have a brand of those that you'd like me to take a look at, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to get it for the video. So that's it for today's video, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. You know I always appreciate your time. I hope you found the video helpful and informative and I'll see you next time. So take care. Bye-bye.